Alongside the head coach of Havlina Softball, Craig Nicholson, I'm Mark and Sarah on HavlinaSports.com. And coach, you guys are coming off a run rule, a sweep of Arkansas Monticello. You guys flexed your offensive muscle a little bit, hit a few home runs, had a run rule victory in the second game. How important is it going to be for you guys to keep the momentum going into this weekend's games? Well, I mean, I think you know, I, I think we just got to we just got to continue to do a good job offensively. We've uh, there's been points in the season where we've really struggled offensively. Um, you know, good for us to break out a little bit in the, in the last game, but yeah, we absolutely we got to be able to keep that going. And uh, you know, I think I think for some people I, there's some light bulbs going off. And we're starting to figure some things out, um, but up and down our lineup, we got to continue to work and we got to grind and. We got to really, really be able to have some some quality at bats, and if we can string them together, then that's how we're going to score runs. Now you also got a couple excellent pitching performances in those victories. You won both by shutouts, and got performances from Brianna Smith and from Sarah Gilbert. You and I talked last time about how they've been able to throw complete games a lot this season, and they're t they're in the top three in the LSC in terms of innings pitched. How much of how much of what you guys did in training was preparing them to be able to handle that kind of workload this season? Well, I think they've. They've gotten better as the season's gone along. So I think, we, I mean, our, our thought coming in was we, we can't overwork them preseason. And we I think we did a pretty good job of spacing them out enough preseason in terms of their workouts and those kind of things to have them healthy coming into the season. And then we, we felt like we'd let them build a little bit in terms of their stamina and their strength as the season went on we just we just felt like we couldn't we couldn't overwork them early and uh, they've thrown a lot of innings they're going to continue to throw a lot of innings so but I think they're both in, in a good spot right now they're both healthy and feeling good so um, you know as long as we can keep them there we'll, we'll keep moving forward and, and uh, those two are going to be a big piece of what we do as a ball club. You have another another talented pitcher coming in this weekend for Tarleton, Jordan Witherow. What do you guys need to do on offense to counteract the things she does well in the circle? Well, I think uh, I mean I think the big thing is just being able to string quality at bats together. She's uh, she's a high strikeout kid, um, you know, and we're going to strike out some. We do strike out some, and combine that with a pitcher that's that, that's that's a high strikeout number pitcher. We're gonna we're gonna have some strikeouts, um, but when we get opportunities. We're going to have to make sure that we're bearing down and we're having good at bats when we have those opportunities, when those opportunities present themselves. I mean, I think, you know, with what we've done pitching wise, we're pretty comfortable playing in a, in a pitcher's duel type game um, and understanding that we're going to have to have those good at bats when, whenever we get those opportunities. And we're not going to be able to pick who it is or when it is. We're just going to make sure that we have to make sure that we're able to have good at bats when we when we get those in those situations. You followed up with two against Oklahoma Christian here at Hubert Field on um, Monday. What kind of challenges are, is OCU going to present for your team? To be honest with you, I I, I don't know. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're uh, we're busy prepping for Tarleton right now, and uh, after we get through this weekend, we'll take Sunday and kind of um, you know at least from a coaching perspective, take a look and and do the best we can to prep our kids. It's going to be a quick turnaround, so there's not going to be a lot of, of physical preparation. It's going to be more about um, kind of understanding what they're trying, what their pitchers try to do, and. Uh, you know, having a good handle on what they're trying to do offensively. So it, it'll be a challenge, especially because they're a good ball club and we're not going to have the prep time that we normally have um, even for a midweek because we're playing on Monday. You always want to take it one game, one inning at a time, right, Coach? Absolutely. Let's get through the Friday night and then uh, get ready for Saturday and, and, and just keep going from there. All right, well, best luck this weekend, Craig. Thanks for the time. Absolutely. Thanks, Mark. He's Craig Nicholson. I'm Mark and Sarah on HavlinaSports.com.